In America, most women are taught in their health classes what sexual abuse is. Most young boys put through a health or PE class are spoken to about the use of their physical penis and their bodies, meaning what is and isn't their lawful right to do, what is and isn't considered rape today, what is and isn't considered a lawful relationship in terms of age demographics, meaning if you're dating someone younger than you, you are at risk. If you're dating someone who is younger than you by a minority status and you are a person of majority status, you can actually be caught for something called who knows what. I don't know. I'm not a part of that law group. But what I can say to you is that physical abuse still happens today. Sexual abuse still goes on today. But here's the challenge. If we have people coming into America or people within America that are using technologies that we don't know about to create sexual assault and lack of memories of them, then we really are in trouble today. Because I guarantee that men are evil in their soul in many ways. And they like to believe that what they've done to me, what they've done to you, what they've done to your daughter, what they've done to your mother, what they've done to your sister isn't sexual abuse. You see, the plying of someone is a little different than the crying of someone, but openly sometimes they ply somebody with alcohol that has some sort of a chemical in it. We've seen on the news with Hoda and uh, I forget her current cohort's name, how there's a way to test your wine, to test your alcohol to see if something that's not right and not lawful has been accidentally or intentionally put in it. Accident is what somebody might say if they actually drop something and they didn't realize where it went and it fizzled out before they realized where it went because sometimes people do drop a pill and they don't get what happened to it but generally speaking it's intentional to harm someone, to take advantage, to do something to someone and there's a lot of people across America that feel that they're in charge of your sexuality there's a lot of people across America who are religious writers who think they have a different view of God's philosophy. In other words, God produces this Bible, this work that's been passed on from generation to generation, and people look at the exegesis, in other words, the meanings of the words, instead of, and I can't remember now what the particular term is called, but the other word, which is in as marvelous, that talks about the actual aspect of what it meant in society at that time. Does anyone in the pastoral group, can they help me with that word? Because since my concussion, I'm forgetting it. And that doesn't help me with anything other than being sort of a fool before you sinning. I can't remember the word that I learned. But that sucks for me, and it's probably annoying to you. But the point is, I think you know what I'm saying. That people are still misinterpreting the Bible, and that's happening every day. God's Bible is about love in every aspect of the world. And what God says is that all things He creates are holy, and all things He says are clear. But what he tells us most throughout the Bible is that there is a Holy Ghost that can guide you, help you, protect you, and keep you in the Lord's light today. But so many people are playing in the dark. So many people are playing in the shadows that sexual abuse and misconduct occurs, even in places that are supposed to know the laws.